Hello all, it's Jenna, Jenna Korea, and uh, once a few decades ago, I was in Mexico wanting to improve my Spanish and have a chance to speak with people. And I was staying in a hotel and uh, was sitting at the bar chatting with the bartender. I was not drinking alcohol, which he noticed, and he told me he didn't drink alcohol either because he was an alcoholic. And I said, well, it must be really difficult to be a bartender and be an alcoholic. And he said, no, not really, that he went to AA meetings where he got tremendous support uh, and he, he could manage it. So I did something very uh, unverschämt is the, is the German word, shameless. I asked him if I could go to one of these meetings. And the reason I wanted to was that I had been to some of these meetings in the States, uh, groups supporting family and friends with, uh, who, were, who were struggling with alcohol. And I had been so impressed by the meetings because people spoke from a really genuine place. They were not putting on masks when they spoke. So since they were so real, what they said was very nourishing to me. So I had no right to ask this uh, of the bartender, but he said, yes. And I said, well, ask your group first and make sure it's all okay with them. And he said, I, I know it will be, but I'll ask. So I did, I did go to the, these meetings and to many more than one. So he took me to the first and I talked with people after. They weren't huge meetings, maybe seven, eight people or so. And on a day when the bartender was working, one of his friends from the group would uh, come and pick me up and take me back. So they, they began to ask me if I would speak at the meeting. And I said, oh, oh, you know, I don't know enough Spanish to do that. I was speaking Spanish individually but, and, and you know, not brilliantly <laughs> by any means, but the thought of speaking in a group was very, very intimidating to me. So I kept putting it off and they kept asking me. And pretty soon it was gonna be time for me to go home. So they said, well, this is the last meeting at which you could speak. And it turned out to be the anniversary of their group. All the groups had taken names this, was, this group was called Solo Por Hoy, Only for Today. So they were having a big party and inviting all the, the relatives and friends and there were balloons and food and all of this. So it was a big, big deal. If I had only said I would speak earlier, I could have spoken before six or seven people, but this was jam packed because it was a party. So uh, I, I kind of had to do it. And so I went up, I, I, I spoke as best I could, and the waiter, the bartender, and his friend who used to pick me up sometimes to bring me were at the back of the room. And I have to say, in all the decades since then, I have never received the support for speaking that I received from them. You could just see them radiating support to, to me. They knew I was really nervous. They were just radiating that support. I could feel it. And I know that I made lots and lots of grammatical errors, all kinds of errors, but people could understand what I was trying to convey. And that support just carried me through. It was one of the most beautiful experiences of my life. And I'm so grateful they let me go to the meetings because I, I met and conversed with wonderful, wonderful people in the process of transformation. And it was so inspiring and nourishing to me. It's so nourishing when people speak real. Okay, that's all, all for now. Please subscribe and I'll, um, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye now.